Hi, welcome to a new video. My name is Lee. If you're new here, I am a full-time artist. I run an online store, this YouTube channel, and a Patreon account. Making up my full-time job, very, very, very fun. Um, welcome. <laughs> I've literally never done that kind of intro. I don't know what came over me, but welcome to a new studio vlog. I'm so happy to have you here. This whole vlog, besides the part that you're watching right now, is pretty much me reopening my shop. I haven't had my online shop open for months, months since it was hot outside. So it's been quite a while. It was a little bit of a whirlwind because it hasn't happened in so long. And I added some really exciting new big prints that I have been teasing on my YouTube channel for a few videos now. And I'm really excited to have had them in my shop. And it was really fun. I was able to sell out of a lot of, a lot of extra inventory I had laying around my studio. It was a really successful, <laughs> successful. It was a really successful shop update for me and I'm forever grateful to everyone who supported it and or is watching this video, whatever. But thank you so much for coming again. Grab your water, stay hydrated, like the video, leave a comment um, telling me what you're doing while you're watching this because I love those comments because I read what you're doing while watching my videos and it kind of feels like I was there for it. Feel free to leave a comment down below telling me what you're doing. But thanks again for coming. I hope you enjoyed the video. TTYL, XOXO, Gossip Girl, bye bye. <laughs> James is being my guardian angel. Aren't you? I'm just working. Let me turn off the heater. Shipping these new large boxes like this. See? Whoa, that's huge. Every country has a different price for how much it takes to ship there. James is looking up every single country I ship to. Look at him. It's not that big a deal. I don't want to do that work. Should I give him a raise? No. I think I should. No. Anyways, shout out to James, my guardian angel. Just a worker. I want all the international people to be warned that shipping is really expensive when your box gets big. Here, let me do El Salvador. El Salvador. To go to El Salvador? Right. So, how do you feel about figuring out the shipping? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Can we get a review? Oh! If we had to do it again, knowing how to do it, it'd be fine. How long did it take us to figure out? Like, what was to what figure was it, it out? To figure it out, do all the work you had to do. Give five hours. A, five hours. Five hours of straight hard work. Mm -hmm. We figured out the shipping. Only a day. It took all day. But that's not too bad. We had one fight. We didn't have a fight. I just didn't know what was going on. I was having a fight. With Cody. No. Toby. Wow.
Hi, it's um, Sunday, November 20th. I don't typically work on Sunday, but I decided to do my early access for my patrons today. So my shop opened at 11 a.m. today, it's three now. I'm coming into the studio just to like make sure everything's running right. I opened it from home on my laptop and it went, it went surprisingly fine. Um, there was only one little bug, but otherwise it seems like it was working really well. Typically I have a couple little things I need to adjust like right when I open it, but we nailed it. <laughs> but let's see, let's see what my stock's like. I know that my patrons already bought out my landscape print. And this is what I thought might happen, that my patrons would buy out most of my new print stock, which are like my larger prints that I've been showing. My landscape one sold out first. Um, it was $40, so it was more on the affordable end where my larger ones were 80. So they're more of an investment. They're really, really nice prints, so. My next to go is a checkerboard blue vase. I only got three of those left. And then I have 15 left of the other two. Which I'm kind of surprised because I thought that the the two blue vase ones would sell together as sets. But I don't think that's the case. The checkerboard one is my personal least favorite. It always happens like that, doesn't it? My favorite is probably the landscape or the blue vase with the yellow ground. I feel, I always feel bad. This is, this is really not a problem, but I feel kind of bad that I'm like, I'm always promoing my shop updates. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna have all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. I open it for my patrons, all the new stuff gets bought out. I open it for everyone else and they're like, what? What's going on? It's good, bad, mostly good though. It's just like confusing, which I understand. I'm trying to decide if I wanna restock these prints. I'd like to have them kind of in my shop to buy at a slower rate rather than like a shop update rate where people just like buy things out. I kind of want them to be available for a little bit and just sit in there and be like, oh, I think I'll get that. Or like you're able to save up some money and be like, I'm gonna get that print now. So we'll see. Hey, it's Monday, November 21st, AKA shop opening day official. I do happen to have, check this out. I happen to have two prints left still after the night. So I can offer those to everyone else. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'm just gathering together some stuff to share. So um, I can share it on Instagram. I'm like, hey, this is the stuff. The Patreon opening went well. So I think the opening for everyone else is gonna be good. It's weird that I don't have a couple of my new products to offer to everyone, but I did give a fair warning, so all spare in love and war. So good news so far. What's Only that? Only that one email. Nice, I got even, I got more on my Patreon, but it was all patrons, Patreon, so that's so why you're not getting emails. Um, but yeah, just the one about switching the print. Yeah, I just had to update. Hey, check out these cards. I've never heard of these. I'm about to tell them cost one, and it adds, it adds an additional island when you tap.
removed that. I think it was right there. This is slick. Wait, oh, I'm not ready. Like a, it's like a dirtier, cleaner look. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to get better and better at it. <laughs> look at that. I think it's really coming here. I think mm -hmm. I've done three or four in the time that it took me to do one. Oh, Oop, that's it. Art. This is potential art. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. As you can see in the last couple clips, I've had my mom, my dad, and James helping me pack these orders. My mom and dad came for one day and helped me a little bit. My mom kind of helped me troubleshoot how I wanted to pack my prints, which was really helpful. She's just really good at that stuff. But I'm so grateful for the help that I've had on the shop update and just with my job in general this year. Before this year, I was running my business completely alone besides Grace helping me do some orders here and there. And I don't know how I ever did it. I do not know how I ever did it. Looking back, I can't figure it out. I can't imagine doing it alone now. Um, so I wanna give a big shout out to James and my mom and dad for coming to help me with this particular shop update and James for just helping me with all of my work stuff outside of shop updates. James, James and I have talked about it recently. Sometimes we'll be walking home from work and he'll be like, Lee, how did you do this job alone? And I'm like, I don't know, James, that's a great question. Another thing I am so grateful for is having this space outside of my home to work, especially during a shop update. So before this studio, if you're new here, I used to work out of a bedroom in my home and I made it into my at-home studio, which was lovely in some ways. But what's really lovely about having it outside of my home is that I can leave work and take an actual break and not feel like the orders are looming so close to home when I'm trying to like rest or take a step back from work. So I am so grateful for my studio space. I haven't had a shop update while being in the studio space yet. So this is my first one where I really did it all in the studio. So I'm really grateful for that. And I wanna give a shout out to my studio. Thank you, studio. As I've been packing up these prints, I am so excited to see them get to their destination they're a product that i'm really proud of i haven't been proud of something i've made in quite a while people would post pictures receiving their orders from me and i'd be like nice cool but these prints are like just beautiful to me and i feel like they'll be more of a of a statement piece more of something special that you'll want to keep and like frame if you did order one please send me pictures and or tag me in posts or stories on instagram um, i would love to see them in your space how you style them how you frame them i'm all for it yeah
me to say? Tell them how many orders we have left. 300 and something orders are left. How many do we start with? I have no idea. Me either. 600? Maybe more. Maybe. That's hard to say. I think we're doing great. Yeah, I don't see why not. I actually don't know if Tody will walk. He just woke up. Well, he's been kind of limping today. I'm gonna play fetch with him in the living room for like an hour straight. Say bye. Bye. Aww. Hey, it's Monday, um, November 28th. How's everyone doing? I took a I took a solid weekend off of packing orders, which was hard. There's something about having a shop update, getting a bunch of orders, knowing you need to get them done, and getting them done, no matter what. But I take my weekends off now, and it was a big boundary for me to cross if I came in here and packed some orders. Don't get me wrong, I thought about it. It's one of those tasks that just like weighs on your mind, whether you're at work or not, and you're like, this could be done. It could be done if I went in, it could be done. Um, also last week was Thanksgiving, which is like, you know, I took another day off last week, but let me see how many orders I have left. We're here for the long haul, baby. <laughs> Let's log in. I absolutely love doing little quizzes where I have to tell them where I see a boat in a photo, so I'm not a robot. I have 351 orders left to pack. We haven't brought any orders in to be shipped yet because places have been closed for Thanksgiving and then closed extendedly throughout the weekend. Sunday is not a day for the Postal Service, so we're going to do a big drop off today with all the orders um, that we have packed so far. I'm excited to get them out of my space. They're taking up a lot of room and it just feels like very hectic in here with them. So today we're going to be taking those out, bringing them in to be shipped. I'm going to continue packing orders. Slowly but surely they're gonna get done. Slowly but surely they're gonna get done. Um, I feel a little behind on Patreon because of this shop update. I haven't been able to um, design the December rewards yet or do the December exclusive video. What is today? Again, the 28th. So I need to do those too. Probably gonna do something simple for the video so we can just get through it, you know what I mean? And unpack some orders. <laughs> So yeah. Good morning. I just got to the studio. It's Tuesday. My heater is buzzing, huh? There we go. I'm listening to the exclusive Sad Shrimps podcast on Patreon. I love my Patreon podcast. I bet you thought I was listening to it. One second. A couple weeks ago, I went and I did a photo shoot with a, is my camera crooked? I don't, I can't tell. With a local shop called Wolfpack 
It's a female owned business that is all about sustainability. The owner sometimes invites me to model some of the clothes for some of their photos and she gave me this dress, okay? You can't see it in its full form. It's technically a wrap dress, but I'm wearing it for winter since it's cold out. Today is a, a kind of warmish day. Kind of warmish. They have the funniest vintage t-shirts. I got one that's blue and just says no pain, no gain on the back. And I absolutely love that. And I got this yellow and red one with this sun tie-dye looking thing going on. And I also got a Girlfriend Collective blue sports bra. I, I love working with them. I think they're awesome. So if you want to check them out, I will put a link to their shop in the description. I think I have a discount code too. I'll put that in the description too. I think I have one. Check them out if you're looking for some sustainable goodies because um, I love it there. They also have this blue, this like thick blue chunky mug that every time I go in there, I pick it up. It's like ultramarine blue and the handle's like thick and the mug's huge and it's pretty heavy. And I'm like, do I need this? Every time I go in, I think I should get it. As of last night, let me check how many orders we have. We have 124 orders left, which is monumental, I think. I'm thrilled. I think I posted, posted. I think I packed pretty much all of the orders with big prints in them. Besides a few, I, I had some inventory problems, so I have to pack a couple more that I just got. The, the stickers I ran out of. I don't know how many orders I got total. We got 983 orders this month. And we're only down to 100. We're down to 100 already. I thought we got less than that, so I'm a little shocked. Typically we, we get more because I have more products at a lower price point. So we're just packing so many orders and it's just like weeks and weeks and weeks of like we're gracefully packing orders. But since I had the large prints, which were more expensive, I got a little less orders and it's a lot more manageable, which is a plus for us. Me and James, when I say us, that's cool. That's cool. I don't know how long this herc feather has been in here. Look at that. Oh, you know, like when you have the little, where are they? I don't have any. Yay. Okay. James is packing the last orders. Look at him. Whoa. How many orders did you do yourself? What? Well, how many orders did you do yourself? Probably like 40. 40? What about you? 900. Pretty much done packing all the orders. It's been a little over a week since I reopened my shop. I feel like I packed so many orders. I did pack so many orders, but I feel like I packed even more than that. I think just me, like me alone, I think I packed, I, th I think I packed over half of it by myself. Did I, did I miss having my shop open? No. <laughs> um, am I excited for it to be closed again? Yeah. Like I am, I, I'm so excited for it to be closed. It adds another layer onto my job that I kind of forgot because it's been closed for literally months, but it adds just like an extra layer of stress. I know it was like a shop reopening and it was not like a casual, like my shop just opened and I pack a few orders a week. But um, after having, the shop open again, I just feel like it makes Patreon a lot more stressful because Patreon is on a deadline of the month and then shop orders are on the deadline of as fast as I can get them out, the better. Um, so that was just like a weird thing. Like literally right after we finished packing the orders, I ran over to my computer to design the December Patreon rewards. I made the sticker and the postcard for next month. I didn't have to do that. Like I have time to do it but I like to order it before the next month. Like that's 
my thing that I've been trying to do. We'll see how they come out. Sometimes when I design Patreon rewards, spur of the moment quickly, if you will, I don't always love them, but sometimes I do love them. So we'll see. I don't think they're gonna be bad regardless. I think they're gonna be cute. I picked um, one of my fish vase lily paintings that everyone seems to like, but I personally don't. And then a little oil pastel, like pink green, like sprig flower leaf thing. It's not very wintry and I've done a lot of vase flower things like three months in a row now but it's kind of my thing right now so that's just how the cookie crumbles baby i didn't miss packing orders at all i think in future updates this is my new plan i'm going to do less products and that that's the only plan i have i had a lot of leftover remaining stock from previous shop updates on this one so i cleared out a lot of things i'm hoping to have just like a chill amount of sticker designs in my next one, a few large prints like I did, and that's it. Um, I was able to clear out all my old prints pretty much and a lot of old sticker designs this update, which I'm really excited about. I'm like, there's an energy in old products and old designs where I'm just like, ew, I don't want to see this. I don't know, but I also don't want to throw it away. So I kind of have to sell it. The sun's setting, so I'm going to head out. It's, it's surprisingly nice out today. The window's wide open, I'm sure you've heard all the car noises, but I'm going to take the long walk home because it's so nice out and just chill. I'm gonna chill, baby. But thank you for all the support on the shop update. Um, every, every single time I open my, every single time I open my shop, I can't believe how many orders I get. But thank you, thank you for all your kind notes with your orders, like everyone's, it's sickening, sickeningly nice out here, you know? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're looking for more video content from me, I post an exclusive video every month on Patreon. So I have a collection of like 66 videos right now on there. Um, you just need to join my $5 tier and up and you gain access to all of my exclusive videos if you enjoyed this one. Leave me a like on the video, comment down below what you were doing during this video. Hee <laughs> hee, I know I already asked that, but um, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I wanna give a big shout out to my little puppy patrons. Thank you for supporting me and buying out so much of my stock on the shop update. And I'll see you in the next one, bye.